Hi everyone, it's me Logan and Quinn. As you can tell by the title, I am doing another makeup tutorial. Finally, I haven't done one since... Uh... Since... What? Since what time? I think it was, um... Since... October? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, I am. I'm doing one now. And you can obviously probably tell by the colors and by the title that it's St. Patrick's Day inspired because of the fact that, um, the, because Mar in March, March is actually my birthday, so, yeah, March 7th, so, yeah, um, so I want to do a look kind of inspired by that month, so I used greens and golds, and then my lips are just not neutral, and I did winged liner because I felt like it would actually really accent this to look, so, yes. And I did my brows and everything. So, I'm going to put my hair back. Okay. Now, first off, we're going to use, of course, Urban Decay Primer Potion. You can get this at UrbanDecay.com or at, um, at Sephora. I'm just going to blend that in. So it looks like that. Of course, it doesn't look like much, let's be real here. Now I'm going to take, and I'm going to use, this is going to be hard to lift up. Okay, I'm going to use my 120 eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use the um, side that has more, has more of the greens. This is the first edition, okay? So I'm going to use... This is not easy. I'm going to use this green, which is basically just a nice lime green, and I'm going to mix that with this one, which is a little bit more on the yellower side. And that way I can just get that green. Now, I'm just going to apply it. And I'm using my domed eyeshadow brush, of course. Really tap off that excess when you get closer to the... Uh, Closer toward the brow bone. And now I'm just going to just lightly blend it out so it's a slight taper, a little tiny bit of a wing, but not too much because this look doesn't really need that. It doesn't need too much. It just needs a tiny bit of a wing. Not, like I said, not too much, but that's how it looks. Like I said, doesn't look like much now, but it's getting there. Now I'm going to take this brush, and this is a small eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take this yellow color right here. It's a nice golden yellow color, and it has a bit of a uh, shimmer to it, so it's going to be the perfect highlighter. I'm going to apply that right in the tear duct. And where we stopped with our green. And we're going to blend that a little bit. And you 
so if you can hear bumping in the background, that is my turtle. And then we're just going to bring it down toward about about to where about to where the up, where the on the top it stops. We're going to do it on the bottom. So, looks like that. Now, we're going to get into the in, more into the bottom, and we're going to use the green that we used before. I'm just going to do it in the lime green this time for the bottom, and I'm going to apply that to the bottom. And it looks like that. Now, we're going to do the crease. Because I have a color in the crease. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this color looks a tiny tad, tad bit darker than this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green color. It's a nice dark moss green. It's a really nice moss green color. So what we're going to do is take a blending brush like this, tap off excess, and put that right in the crease. Like I said, doesn't look like much, but it's getting there. Now I'm going to take, here's where it really makes the look a little bit different. I'm going to take this color. This is a very pale yellow color. And then I'm going to mix that with just a basic white color, which is from the other side of the palette. It's right here. First I'm going to apply the white or not the white, the yellow, and then I'm going to apply the other color on top of that. That way it doesn't look too yellow, but it doesn't look too, too white either, because I don't think that, I wanted to use a little bit of yellow on the brows, um, the brow highlight, but I didn't want to use too much, too much. I felt like too much would just take over the look. I'm just going to take, use my finger to soften that. Now I'm going to take the white. And just apply that. And these colors really help to blend because mattes work well with with um, other mattes. Especially with this palette. This palette's amazing. I love it. The 120 color palette is amazing. I think it's the best palette I've ever used. So it looks like that. Definitely getting there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this brush, this is an angled eyeliner brush from Sony Kashuk. And I'm going to take that moss green, load that up on my brush, and I'm going to put that in the tear duct. Because you can use eyeshadows as eyeliner. It'll actually last relatively longer than just going ahead and putting on an eyeliner and not putting eye, sh eye shadow over it. So, that is that. Now I'm going to take this. This is NYC 
New York Color Coal Brow Eyeliner Pencil, and this one is in jet black. So basically you wouldn't want to use it as an eyeliner because, I mean, you don't want to use straight black for eyeliner. But I'm going to use this to tie it line. And it looks like that. Now I'm going to move on to my brows before I finish up the eyes because I really want my brows to really look better. So I'm just going to start, well I'm one brow, not both brows because I already did this brow. But I'm going to take, how I do my brows is I take this eyeshadow which is a, a um, matte brown and I mix that with that pale yellow color that I used for the brow highlight. because it really helps just add that that color that you really need if you do have blonde hair. If you don't have blonde hair, use something that coordinates with your hair. So it looks like that. I'm going to take and use some e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash, Bra Lash and Brow Mascara. This is just some clear mascara. It's pretty much all it is. There's no difference between brow gel and clear mascara, really. Same texture, same color, same product, basically. And it looks like that. Now, now we're going to get into, I'm going to do mascara. For mascara, I am going to use MAC Zoom Lash. Because it's going to help add that wing. And I'm only going to apply it on the tops. Because I feel like it just, it works a lot better with... This look, it really is about the liquid liner and the color. It's not about the, um... About the mascara. Which is why I decided to keep the bottoms pretty much nude. Or bare, I should say. Next, I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner, wherever I put that bugger, I seem to have lost my liquid eyeliner. Okay, well, I, it's a good thing I have another one. I'm going to use this color. I don't know what I, oh, there it is. It's sitting there right in front of me. I have totally selective, um, selective eyesight, I swear. I'm going to use this. This is liquid eyeliner from the Color Workshop. It's basically just a basic black, and this is going to be a tricky part. So I'm going to get the... I'm going to use the mirror up close. What I like to do in the beginning is I like to make it so then that way it matches my the beginning of my eye and then I like to And 
I'm gonna thicken it up. I'm gonna thicken it up ever so slightly. I'm gonna just extend that wing just a tad. I'm gonna grab more of the uh, liquid eyeliner. And it looks like that. So, that's that. Now we're going to move on to blush. For blush, I'm going to use this. This is from the color workshop. I'm going to use the top, this top color. And then I'm going to also mix that with some bronzer. And I like to extend my bronzer up over my brow slightly because I have a square shaped face and that really helps to flatter a square shaped face. I'm going to pick up a little bit more of the pink. And so it looks like that. Last but not least, lips. For lips, I actually mixed three lipsticks. Said I was infamous for mixing lipsticks. I mixed this from the color workshop. It is basically just a nice deep brownish pink. Mix that with this one, which is a dusty rose kind of color. And I mixed that with this color, which is from LA Colors. It is called Nude. And it is basically a nice peach mocha kind of color. So. Yes, and then I top that off with this. This is Midnight Swirl Topeless Lip Gloss from Revlon. So, yeah, that's about it. That's the completed look. Take my hair down. Yes, now my hair's a mess. You guys get the idea. So, that's about it. Leave comments, feedback, and all that stuff down below in the comment section. Comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Until next